全力キュンキュン始めるよ。Let's go! キュンからの逆キュンからのバッはい。They are James Frank and Gustav Hertz. Yes, and both of them win the Nobel Prize in Physics. Look how they smart are them. And this experiment states that it is an experimental verification of the existence of the discrete energy of an atom in 1914. So this experiment is very significant because it proves few theories. So what are these? So first, the quantum theory. So when we say quantum theory, it states that all matters that all matters have different movement of energy in an atomic level or subatomic level. So they have a different movement of behaviors in different levels of atomic. So next, the Bohr model. So Bohr model of the quantum level of energy showed that there are different behaviors of an atom. And when the electrons absorb the energy, it will get excited and it will jump and it will start jumping around the energy levels. So this is the energy absorbed. And when the electrons return, it will emit the color because it depends on the behavior of the electrons around the energy level. So it will emit the color. So this color will emit because of the behavior of the energy around the energy level. So how this Frankfurt's experiment work? So this experiment was conducted in a vacuum tube at a temperature of 115 degrees Celsius. Degrees Celsius. A jar of neon and mercury added on it. So because of the temperature, this job turned into vapor. So these two jobs turned into vapor. So this is a mercury and neon vapor. So now let's focus on the electrons. So because this apparatus was being electrocuted, the electrons get excited because it's absorbed energy. So this was the result from moving toward to the positive grid to reach the collecting plate. To reach the collecting plate. is the positive. positive so if it is the electrons was negative it measures the current plate of an electrons so if the electrons did not pass the grid it will just fall back and lose energy okay. So as you can see, we have a apparatus. So these two plates, this is a cathode, and this is a plate, and this is a grid. Cathode, plate, and grid. So these electrons leave the cathode accelerated by the voltage towards to the grid. And then the this towards the grid reaches, reaches to the plate, which was recorded by the ammeter. So again, 
These electrons leave the cathode because it is accelerated by the voltage towards to the grid and reaches to the plate because it is recorded by the ammeter. So this is a um, reference to the ammeter, cathode, plate, and grid, and this is the voltage. So now, we will learn about electron collision in the tube. So classic collisions are very common. And if an atom collides in a gas cannon, there will be no change of energy. So this is it, then. So as if the heat rises, as if the heat rises, and then it is a constant, temp consistent temperature, there should be a start of inelastic collision. So this, what we call elastic collision. So if it, the heat rises and then there is a consistent temperature, there will be a start of inelastic collision that therefore will cause a kinet kinetic energy of an atom and it may slow down the electrons. So, so it may slow down the electrons, but if it is start going to the grid, that energy will start increasing once again because of the voltage. So once again, so this is an elastic collision and this is an inelastic collision. Elastic collision usually happen about 4.9 voltage. Let us know about the graphing the currents collected. A signal gap as a voltage of the system increases so the more currents are trapped because the electrons absorb more energy that it allows to pass on the positive grid. So here is the graph. So this is the voltage. And this is the current. So there is also a drop in every graph which represent the inelastic collisions that happens in an apparatus. So here we have also uh, drops on our graphs. So here with the 5, 10, and then 15. So, so here, these drops called inelastic collision. And this is an elastic collision. Then so that's all guys, I hope you learned more about my brother today. So, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. Bye-bye!